Hi, welcome back. On today's session, we're going to discuss switch keys. And this would be our following objectives. On some situation where a value is reached, we need to execute a series of statements if the condition is true. As an alternative in handling this kind of scenario is the use of switch case statement. The syntax in using this statement for integer data type is as follow. Next is the syntax for character data type. As the current version of Java we are using, switch case statement works only on integer and character data type. The use of it in float double data type is not allowed. To help us understand fully how it works, let us have a concrete example for this. We're going to design a program that imposes a discount fare for a student and senior citizens on an airline company. Student gets 10% discount and senior citizen gets 20%. Ordinary customer gets no discount. And this would be our sample input-output interaction. Start our program. We collapse the project. Select work package. Right click it. And we enter the name of the program, Airfare. <coughs> we will start with the basics. Let us insert our main method. We will use a scanner class. Import the package for the scanner class. We're going to use also the decimal format for our output with decimal numbers. Let's import also its uh, package. will prompt our user to enter the fare and we'll have a variable called fare declared as double so this is the variable that will hold the value for our inputted fare we declare it up next we uh, we prompt the user to enter the corresponding code of our customer And the variable that we're going to use is cast code, declared as integer. Cast code is declared as integer because this would be the integer variable that we're going to test on our switch case statement. Our next approach is to determine what kind of customer we had on the entry and the discount rate we impose. We need to use a variable 
customer and this rate so if we have k0 class code integer is 0 we entered customer is ordinary and this rate is 0 let us declare our variable customer declared as a string so this would be the description of the customer and this rate declared as double for the discount rate that would be the initial value and we'll have a break statement here so it will escapes from the switch case uh, statement so if our integer value is 1 we set customer to student and this rate is set for 10 percent 0.1 expressed in decimal and we'll have the corresponding break statement if our customer code is 2 that means it's a senior citizen and its discount rate is set to 0.2 if we entered a different number so the default would be customer will have a default value of invalid code and the cost this rate is still set to zero because that's the, our initial value on top now we're ready to compute for the discount and net fare so discount is simply fair multiplied by this rate and net fare is you get net fare by by deducting from fare less the discount so let us declare net fare and discount on top now we're ready to display our output so first we're going to display our customer what kind of customer do we have next is the next is the fare that is entered format in two decimal places with the comma concatenated with the word dollars next is the discount concatenated also with the dollar sign and the last would be the net fare whatever the result of net fare that was computed before let us save no error let's run so on our first scenario we entered 100 though it would be zero so there would be no discount because it's a ordinary customer next we rerun we still have the same value but this time it would be student so it gets uh, 10 percent that's why our net fare is 90 dollars we rerun again but this time it would be uh, for senior citizen we get 20 percent discount okay let us analyze a portion of our program So we're going to switch according to the cast code entered. So on this case, we, if we entered zero, so this would be true. Our customer would be set as ordinary. And this rate would be set as zero. And we'll have a break statement. And it will escape from the switch case statement and proceed to the next line of code. what if there is no break statement good question if we did not insert any break statement on our switch case what will happen so again it will identify which 
identify on how it will going to switch k0 yes because if we're, we entered 0 so that would be set as true customer would be set to ordinary this rate would be set to 0 and again case 1 will be evaluated that is of course false because 0 was entered earlier so it will evaluate everything inside its switch case so we will have a different output for this one and uh, that would be there would be some logic error on our final output so it's important to insert the break statement hi this is Jerry thank you for watching this video if you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial please click the link below do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account don't forget to hit the like buttons.